Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to run. Okay, babies, we got one more, and this is a new deck as well. This is um, Wisdom of the House of the Night Oracle deck. So we're going to use this deck to see what's going on with Divine Masculine. If we need to use the book, we will jump into it to see what the book has to say, what guidance we can get. We're going to do a Divine Masculine read. If you are new here, babies, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Oh, hi, honeys. I missed you. So get comfortable. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to jump right on to this. Please, 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 as in tarot, only take what fits. Do not try to make it fit, okay? And if this is not your story, then don't try to take it, okay? There's no need to tell me anything negative about anybody. I don't like the negative shit. All I'm going to do is block it, delete it, okay? If it ain't positive, we don't want it over here, okay? Keep all negativity at your house. We don't have negativity in my house. Name the mother, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Only love, light, and positivity over here. Because what you get out, put out is what you get back. So we only put out love and light. Okay, babies? Okay, so what's going on with the Divine Master at this time? High priestess of water. Okay, so someone could be listening to their intuition at this time. Let's see what the high priestess of water is, y'all. I don't even know what these, these cards mean. So, divine masculine and the high priestess of water. He's a number four. Okay, it says, water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice, and dispersed at hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white, fluffy clouds, and rain. When you draw the symbol of water, it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your eyes. Go with the flow as these changes are powerful signs of wonders, experiences, lessons, and gifts. Okay, even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later. So Divine Masculine is going through some changes right now. Okay, um, he's getting some powerful signs. He could be going through some karmic lessons. He could be receiving some gifts, okay. Um, but I do feel like Divine Masculine is going with the flow. Okay. Four is about stability. So they could be focusing on their stability. I feel like they could be listening to their intuition at this time. Um, with all this green here, I feel like they are opening their heart chakra. I don't know um, if a hot air balloon is significant, but I see a hot air balloon up here. Dragonflies may be significant. Seashells may be significant. There could be some type of tower going on, a tower moment. Somebody could be making changes at this time. Somebody may sing. I see a microphone here. Okay, what's going on with Divine Masculine here? What is going on with Divine Masculine? So we have the moon. So in regular tarot, the moon is about things that's being hidden not seen something needed to be illuminated let's see what the book says the moon when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide you know that it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have this power. You're being asked to use it now. So your person could be using their intuition. Okay? They, they're using their intuition and they're being guided. Whatever was in the dark, they're using their intuition to see it come to the light. This is a five, so there's changes. There's some type of change and some type of stability here. Could be with the karmic guys. Okay? What else is going on with Divine Masculine here, Spirit? What else is going on with Divine Masculine? I keep hearing what's done in the dark is coming to light. Black cats may be significant. They're good luck. Okay, you may be seeing them. Some people may live out in a field or a desert here. Okay, um, we have Belonging, House of Night, a 41, which is another five. 
So divine masculine may feel like he doesn't belong or he's wanting to belong. He may want to come home. Feeling like with you is where he belongs or where she belongs. Okay. So what I'm getting here, there may be somebody here. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because this moon is Pisces energy as well. Okay. That is hiding their feelings. Okay. They want to be where you are. They feel like they belong with you. Divine masculine feels like he belongs with you, divine pen. Whatever was done in the dark is now being illuminated. Okay. So for some of you guys, divine masculine, because they're dealing with some emotions here, they're getting some truth about some emotional stuff here. Maybe find out some truths about some things going on inside their house. Some things that were done in the dark are now coming to light. Yeah, things are, there's a focus here. Tell me more about Divine Masculine at this time. What's going on with Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine. What's going on with the Divine Masculine here? That's a lot, Spirit. That's too many. It was like six cards. Clarify what's going on. With, okay, I'll take that one. Yeah, so Divine Masculine sees you as someone very beautiful here or very handsome. Another four here is a 40 turning into a four. They may see you as someone very beautiful, very handsome, but your guard is. See, the thorns keep you protected here. So this person finds you very beautiful, very emotional, but you are protected. You may have your guard up. Tell me more about what's going on with Divine Master. We'll come back and read Beauty in a minute and Belongings, y'all. What's going on with Divine Master? Anything else? Oh, nothing else is coming out for Divine Master out this deck. Let's read Belongings and Beauty. Bottom of the deck, we have Listening. Look, and it says Carmesha. Okay? Look, I can't make this shit up. So, um, 41 is belonging. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine when it comes to belonging. Come and enter the house of night. For when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in this community of beauty, friendship, and secrets. Secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol also tells you that you are in the right place now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. Like I said, I felt like the secrets that was going on inside Divine Masculine's house is coming out. Everything done in the dark is coming to light now. And then with this beauty, it says, When you revel in the beauty that is true, you can look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you are already perfect as you are. When you choose this symbol... It is a sign that beauty is all around you. Keep a positive attitude. Expect wonderful things and they will come to you. See yourself as beautiful and know that beauty is not skin deep. It includes qualities that lie well beneath the surface. Look for this truer beauty in others as well and always look beyond appearances. So now I feel like your person is looking beyond appearances. See, they could have been trapped... By your person's appearance. By whoever this third party was appearance. This karmic. That popped up at the bottom of the deck. This karmisha. Okay. Because it say karmisha. I can't make it up. It say karmisha. Okay. They were trapped by this karmisha. By their beauty. Okay. But now they realize um, everything done in the dark. Whatever this karmisha, this karmic was doing is now coming to light. 23. Let's see what 23 is. Okay, so listen, okay? It says, in my house of night, there will be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey who has the gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with great detail and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meanings are what are required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is, what, okay, what others don't say is what is important at this moment. See, whatever was not being said is now coming to light. Whatever was being hid, the secrets are now coming out. Okay, so Divine Masculine is getting some truths at this time. 
about what was from this karmic about this karmic whatever was being hidden looking right as i said the next card is honesty okay so there's some honesty coming out some truths like i said some truths are coming out about this karmic divine masculine could be in their feelings right now about this this hidden these lies these hidden truths that are coming out inside this house things are coming out inside this house true secrets okay skeletons is falling out the closet y'all and see, this karmic in the past could just use her beauty. You know what I'm saying? And the sweet talk. She knew how to mince words. She would sweet talk him and use her beauty to, to, to trap this divine masculine. And now, divine masculine, the beauty and the sweet talk is no longer working. She could have even been doing spells over him. Look. Okay? Looks like she was doing some type of spells or something. To keep his emotions bound. But the truth is coming out. And we already know, um, just from other reads, that the karmic's been out here playing with magic and shit. So that's nothing new, okay? 26. But the, the masculine is now finding out, okay? It says, now is the time to be op absolutely honest with yourself about what you want, what you're thinking about, what your motives and real feelings are. Honesty is the way to truly step into your power. When you choose honesty above all else... As your goddess, I will send you courage to do what's right. This is also a time to demand honesty and integrity from others. You have a right to get clear messages. There is the greatest freedom and power in telling the truth. This divine masculine is now making this karmic tell the truth because the truths are coming out. This divine masculine wants to come towards you as well and tell you their hidden secrets. And they're hoping that you hear them. They're hoping that you... That you listen because they have a lot of feelings and emotions for you, Divine Femme, okay? They're missing being at home with you or this connection with you. They want to build a home with you. They see you as very beautiful. And they want to come tell you the truth. Somebody could be doing candle magic. Okay? Like I said, she could have been doing candle magic. The karmic could have been doing candle magic. And that's what's coming out, the truth. What else is going on with Divine Masculine at this time? What is going on with Divine Masculine at this time? Yeah, there was some type of oath. There was some type of oath given or taken within this house, within these secrets. But this person wants to come towards you, Divine Femme. They, they see success here. They want to be playful. Yeah, because you know your worth. This person could be learning their own self-worth here. That's another 5, 2, 32. So let's see what this oath is. What is the oath? Divine Master is no longer lying to himself. Possibly about this promise that he made, this oath. Okay, an oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back? Relinquished the magic that binds you to your oath? See, he may be releasing this magic that's binding him to this oath. Because the truth would come out. He's being released from the magic. And he's ready to come back home. He's found out the truth. That he was, oh my God. He's found out the truth. That he was being bound by this magic. He is now being released. The truth has come out. Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on. If someone refuses to be honorable, you don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise. And this karmic didn't keep that promise. And now, all the secrets are coming out inside this house about what this karmic has done. Everything done in the dark will come to the light. And I feel like it, the, the divine masculine is being released. And it's a successful release. 39. Accomplishments are yours now, and you are in a position to reap the rewards of your hard work. 
The symbol of success reminds you that hard work pays off. Be true to yourself and refuse to compromise, and refusing to compromise will yield good things. Choosing this symbol is a wondrous sign that all is well in your life. The symbol requires you to keep working hard, lest you lose the knowledge you have gained. Now is not the time for slacking off. Keep going and celebrate even the smallest victories. Be proud of yourself as I am proud of you. Remember, everything you choose will now come to be realized. Choose wisely. Yeah, so now Divine Masculine is manifesting this new beginning here with you. And they understand the choices they make can be very detrimental to themselves or to others around them. So now they're making wise choices. And Divine Femme, you are the wise choice. They are now being broken from this magical um, oath. Their heart is being released. They are now gaining their confidence with this yellow here. This blue, they're going to come speak their, their, their truth. Is that a boat? Yep, it looks like they're selling away from the drama. They could be moving away from this house. Let's see what the last one is. 44, which is playful. No matter what you're asking about, this is the time to have a sense of humor. Smile and go do something fun. Life has a way of answering all questions when you're not looking. Wouldn't it be better if you were enjoying your life rather than just sitting around waiting for what you want to happen? Don't take yourself so seriously. It is time to lighten up and be playful. Know that when this symbol appears in your life, the fun is about to start. Yeah. You have success and have happiness coming in towards you. Divine Masculine sees that with you, Divine Feel, and they're headed towards you. Okay? They're ready to come in and, and, and fix this with you. 44, which is an 8. They see abundance here. Okay? And, and, and they are no longer taking themselves too seriously either. They're coming in very lighthearted. They want to fix this. Okay? Anything else, Spirit, before we close out this read? Anything else? Anything else? What's going on with the Divine Masculine? When it comes to this read here, Spirit. And find out the truth about this karma, doing the magic, being released from this magic. Successfully released. And from this connection. They're being connected. I'm telling you, this person was bound. They did not They did candle magic to bound your person. To keep them from knowing their self-worth here. Yep. Your person, Divine Masculine, chose the wrong lover because of the magic. Karmisha. Now they want to come towards you because they love you. What else is going on? Yep. Because you're, your imp you're the empress here. Divine film, you are the connection. And now the tower moment has, has dropped. Okay, they're making the changes. The spell is broken. And now your person is stressed the hell out because they want to come towards you and make it right. Verify the lovers when it comes to this reading. Yeah, they see you as a star and they want to heal it here. Yeah, they're trying to manifest this new beginning. This person could also be healing from the magic. Oh my gosh. Yep. And they have a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets. Yep, and justice is now being served. I can't make this shit up. They stressed out about coming to bring you justice. They see you as the world. They want to close out old cycles and have something brand new with you. They chose the wrong lover. Okay, and now they have to heal from the magic that this lover brought upon them. Okay, this could have been a baby's mother. This could have been a mother. They thought this person was their empress. But this, this person used magic to make this priest person believe that they were the empress. And now the truth has come out. The tower has failed. And now your person, Divine Master, is regretful. 
because they were focused on somebody from the past, could have been a baby's mother, instead of focusing on this lover's connection with you. Now they're stressed out because they want to come balance it out with you. They want to come bring you justice, and they don't know how. Clarify faithful. Yeah, so they're in hermit mode right now, trying to figure out how to come towards you, trying to heal so they can come make it right. The world's still at the bottom of the deck. Anything else when it comes to this? Yeah, so they want to come in very passionately, but they're taking their time as this night of coins here. They could have been in and out in the past. They could have been hoish. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with this karmic. So this is why they're moving slow. Because of their actions in the past. This is why they're regretful. The choices that they made. So this is what's making having them move slow here. Their lying, sneaky deceptiveness. Their third party situations, the choices and options. This is what's keeping them from coming towards you. They are afraid. Yeah, because you have them guarded. You got your guard up. And you may be fighting them, fighting this connection. Because they fought it in the past. And now they want to come heal it with you. Yeah, they see you as the queen of coins here. Practical, stable, got your shit together. Divine fam. Yeah. And they're afraid this connection is completely over. There's no get back. They are afraid. But for sure it is over with the karmic. They have guarded. They're not fighting it. This karmic came in and tried to stop your person from coming towards you. All they did was slow it down. Though The magic slowed it down. It didn't stop it. They tried to block it. And they couldn't completely block it. But they did slow it down. They didn't want this connection to come in com at all. So they they used lies, sneaking, sneakiness, and deception. When it came to Divine Masculine here. And now Divine Masculine is getting justice as well. Yeah, luck is changing in their favor. So Divine Masculine has luck changing in their favor. Yeah, and they're no longer dealing with the karmic, the queen of swords. In reverse. This bitch, this, this, yeah, he's blocking her. So whoever the queen of swords is, she's, she's being blocked. She's done. Judgment is in your favor here. And Divine Masculine is coming towards you for reconciliation. And healing. They see victory and success here. They are afraid. Okay. They are a little afraid. But they know you're their soulmate. The queen of coins. And they're coming to be your counterpart. They want to make it right. They're going to come in with an offer. And they're gaining their strength. Because you are their wish of fulfillment. And they're going to present you with this conversation. This offer. To move forward. To take this leap of faith. And an apology. And they want to give you marriage. Something long-term, stable, committed. If it's not marriage, they want the connection. They want to live with you. They want happiness, celebration. Okay? They want to return, and they want this passionate new beginning here, Divine Phil. Okay, want to persevere. Nine of Wands. They see you as an earth angel, and they've been watching you. Okay? Stalking you. Peeping you out, honeys. They want to come tell you the truth, and they want transformation after this ending. Brand new beginning here. They, they don't want to fight anymore. Okay, they just want to come in quickly. Okay, babies. So if this resonated with you, let me know down in the comment section. I do hear um, this karmic is angry after this ending here. They may even want it to fight. They have been trying to apologize to the divine masculine here. Because they still want forward movement here with the Divine Masculine. Okay? The Karmic is now stalking and watching as well. Anything else? Spirit that I'm supposed to say while we're here. Yeah, the, the Karmic wants to return. They want to persevere. The Karmic is still becoming at your Divine Masculine trying to present them with an offer. But their offer is being blocked. So this karma could be trying to give them sex or, or come at them towards, you know, trying to give them, like with the Ace of Wands, offering them sex here, this King of Wands energy, um, sexual favors, you know what I'm saying? Threesomes, you know, good shit like that. 
and this person is still whatever used to work in the past is not working now i feel like this sexual favors used to work in the past and now this person is no longer um divine master is no longer falling for it this this connection is over divine master is done with the karmic for sure he's done with the lying sneaky and deceptiveness here um and he has a lot of regrets about the choices that he made or she made guys okay it's just energy masculine energy now they want marriage they want they want you they want to invest here they want to apologize they're doing the work they're healing trying to figure out how to come towards you because they drop in tower moments babies they think you're beautiful and they want to come home they, they see you as a wife or a husband and they love you they're all in their emotions and their feelings and they want to come in and make it right. They're hoping that you hear them out. And when they come towards you, they will be honest. This person is going to come towards you and they're going to make you a promise here. Okay. Um, I do feel like this will be an honest. Um, they will be coming from the heart when they come in with this promise here. And there can be success in this connection. Now, this is not everybody's story here. Okay. Um. Please get a personal from somebody, even if it's not from me, to find out if this is your story, if this is your person coming back. Okay, babies? Yeah, I do see victory and success here, but it's going to be slow. A slow movement with the Knight of Coins coming in, okay? But it will be long-term once this person gets here. So I'm going to close this out. Yeah, this person is now becoming enlightened. Energy, enlightenment, universal consciousness, knowledge, higher awareness. I am connected to source. So divine masculine is now connected, and they're coming to connect to you, divine fam. Okay, so if it resonated with you, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, book, buy, leave tips or donations, all that information is down below. And as always, my love, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.